Hi, welcome back to the Ultimate System Design course. In this video, we'll talk about high-level design and low-level design and discuss how they're different. Now, when you go for a system design interview round, it will be clearly communicated to you whether it's an LLD round or an HLD round. It stands for low-level design and high-level design, respectively. Usually, what we've noticed is that if your job is going to be execution heavy, which means that you're going to be writing a lot of code and maintaining services, then it's very likely that you'll be invited for low-level design rounds. Whereas, if your job is going to be planning heavy, that means you're not going to write much code, but you'll have engineers to write the code for you, and you're responsible for the roadmap and the technical direction, then you're going to be invited to HLD rounds. In this course, all the concepts that we learn will be extremely useful for both LLD and HLD. And once we've learned all the important concepts, we'll use these concepts to try and design systems and apply those concepts. But that will come much later on in this series. Now, it makes sense to be great at both LLD and HLD. While HLD is something that comes in at later stages of your career, you can't really get great at it if you're not good at low-level design. So in this course, we'll focus on both LLD and HLD. Now, let's explore the differences between the two. As the name suggests, in high-level design, you're mostly discussing high-level tech components only. And you're not going to be talking about the technologies in depth because there's a higher level of abstraction. For example, you would just say that in your system, there's a back-end server and a front-end server, but you won't discuss the technologies used to build that back-end server and the front-end server. In the sense, you wouldn't be required to say that the back-end server was built with Golang and the front-end server is going to be built with ReactJS. Those details are just not relevant for the HLD round. In HLD rounds, you talk about the tech components used, like load balancers, proxy servers, and caches. But you won't have to worry about lower level details. For example, the algorithm that will be used by the proxy server or the load balancers. And what's the cache replacement strategy that's going to be used. Those are all in the realm of LLD. HLD describes the overall architecture of the application as a whole. Whereas LLD comes as a detailed design and description of every module associated with the application or the system. High level designs are usually created by the solutions architect and low-level designs are created by the developers who will actually write the code. You don't have to worry about data structures in an HLD round. But in LLD, you may have to talk about the underlying data structures and algorithms and how they lead to a more efficient functioning of the system. In many instances, LLD is thought of an extension of the DSA round. And since we know that the systems or the solutions architect creates the HLD and the developer who will write the code creates the LLD, all of this makes sense. Another difference is that you don't have to design the schemas of databases in an HLD round, while you may be required to do so in LLD. Usually, you would have a HLD before you start creating the LLD. So you would have clarity on how the individual modules in the system interact with each other and what sort of information will the system store. And this is why at the LLD stage, it's much more relevant to design schemas. API design with JSON object designing is again something that you might do for an LLD round, but you're not required to do so for HLD. HLD, as we have seen, is a macro level view of the system, whereas LLD is a more micro level view of the system. And this is why designing APIs and JSON objects at the LLD stage make more sense. To conclude, based on the requirements of the software, the HLD is designed. And the HLD essentially acts as a blueprint for how the system will be built. And LLD is basically the conversion of a higher level design into a detailed plan for how the solution will be built. So HLD contains the system and solutions architecture, use cases, data flow, and interfaces. While LLD contains feature design, impact analysis, pseudocode, interface specifications, and design considerations. I'm sure you learned a lot from this video. Do share with your friends and subscribe. In the next video, let's talk about an important concept called modularization. So see you in the next video.